Well, I, I wanted to join everyone in the campus walk today because we're certainly in a very important planning mode, have been since last spring, about how we're going to use all the acreage on campus as we look to continue to grow our great university. Uh, things are crowded. Uh, it certainly means we have to plan for more classrooms in the future. We're getting to the point where that's a significant part of our planning and master planning. We have concerns in terms of the master planning process in the extent to the extent that we'd like to uh, preserve as much of the woods as possible. And early iterations of the master plan showed some fairly high degree of building that would actually occur in or around the woods. And what we're trying to do is make people aware of the, the valuable resource that we have here and, that, uh, and try to influence the master plan to account for that and, and, and make plans that would impact the woods as little as possible. And it's not only important for particular departments, it's important for the whole campus community, it's important for the region. This, 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 the woods that we have here is one of the largest woodlots in Greene County. It provides uh, valuable uh, uh, places for teaching and research, for recreation, aesthetics, and ecosystem services that um, are hard to come by. And so it's real important, and I'm so happy that the biology department is doing these, because the woods are a very precious asset that we all need to understand how we use them now and how we need to maintain that asset in the future. So we have 500 acres, which is a tremendous campus. And many institutions would die to have this kind of land. But 200 acres are in woods. Part of those woods are what we call biology preserved, which we're going to maintain as a teaching and research uh, area.